Hello, this is there. Uh huh. What was that? Yeah, yes. Sorry, we're having so much trouble. A marketplace representative can help you. Please remain on the line. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Okay, this is the state of California. What was that? I'm asking if you're willing to take a survey regarding your customer experience after you speak with our agent. Please say yes or no. Yes. This is the Department of Health, Orange County. <laughs> they are calling me to fraud me out of a sheer cost. <laughs> That's what the state has been doing. And they getting away with it everywhere even though I you know <laughs> where is the federal government man where is the Department of Injustice they ask you who did what and when <laughs> and he said Mr. Shaban you what do you think of ISIS <laughs> We're concerned about Facebook posting. What do you think of ISIS? But they never say what what you think about the county of Orange, the county of San Bernardino, the county of Riverside, the county of Ventura, <laughs> the county of Santa Barbara, the county of Ederson. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Let me, uh, I'll be back. I'm sorry. Enjoy the music. Gov account but can't remember your password? Use the forgot your password link on the login page on healthcare.gov. Be sure you don't use a previous password when creating your new password. If you are having trouble resetting your password, please remain on the line for further assistance.
created a healthcare.gov account and haven't received an email confirmation for your account creation, please check your spam folder for an email from healthcare.gov with the subject line, Marketplace Account Created. You'll need to click on the link provided in the email in order to verify your account. Wasting my time. <laughs> While you're waiting, you can visit healthcare.gov and use the See Plans and Prices feature. There you can see and compare health insurance plans and prices before you apply. Just answer a few quick questions and it will show you specific health plans available to you with estimated costs based on your income. <laughs> What happened to Midi Midi? <laughs> what happened to Cover California? <laughs> what happened to HMOs? Fraud! And they don't say that this is crimes against the humanity. And they went there to rescue the girls from Abu Haram <laughs> and shock and all and now they are talking about 1.9 million child labor in Afghanistan and they didn't talk about the refugees here in the USA <laughs> Everywhere that, that they've been uh, attacked and drugged and if you have raped and job, everything. And you're calling to verify that it qualifies as really? essential coverage. Please contact your health insurance company directly. This is what they're doing. Can verify the coverage qualifies. That's what they're doing. And you know who's behind it? The international. No. Yeah, the International Zionist Terrorist Organization. <laughs> Netanyahu. Netanyahu is the godfather. <laughs> no, no, that's a title that's very honorable for this scumbag. I don't know what. He's an insect. <laughs> He's a roach crawled out of some gutter somewhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, this is what they're doing. That's why one time I posted in Facebook, I said, Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Run, Forrest, no run. And uh, my friend there, she didn't, she didn't reply anymore. I think she got offended because she was a British national. But uh, she was staying in uh, West Bank. And uh, yeah, grandmother against bullshit. <laughs> That's the name of the organization. Grandmother Against Bullshit. <laughs> A 
I think she she unfriended me on Facebook because I was uh, not civilized. And not pro pro politically, politically correct. Okay, let me do my work when I'm waiting here. It stopped when I uh, when I minimize it. Let me see if you. Okay, two minutes. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't stop. But when you minimize it, it. Uh, Jesus. Oh yeah, I was going to try to call this number here. Penalty. Don't miss the deadline. January 31st is your last chance to avoid the penalty for 2016. Uh, the healthcare.gov team. <laughs> .gov where? They send you to San Francisco or Sacramento or .gov FedGov. I don't know. How can you assist me, ma'am? You called me and someone uh, was trying to fraud me out of uh, money. We said share cost. Okay, um, you said some. I, I didn't call you so are you going to just ring into my line? Are you calling the marketplace? No, I'm not calling the marketplace. You guys called me and then I spoke to someone and she tried to fraud me, get out uh, my mailing address so they can send me, uh, what you call it, uh, a share cost thing when I'm, uh, you know, fraud. State of California is frauding people. Department of uh, Health and Department of Unsocial Services, Department of Skittles, Department of Craziness. You guys are fraud. Not you personally, because you work in there. I know that they're probably not paying you enough. But the state, the state is frauding people on the Obamacare. Are you still there? Okay. Um, did you need me to look up your application? I, I'm not sure exactly. Um, because for sure, you just rang into my line and you said that we called you, and I, um, you just rang into my line. Okay. Do you guys, do you guys, uh, uh, can you explain to me who are you and where, what that office is and who you're working for? Is it a state or just a, this is a dot org? Is it non-profit organization that is calling people to get them uh, insured with uh, you know with the Department of uh, Health and all that? Is it dot org or a state? We are the marketplace and we enroll people in health coverage and see if you qualify for a tax credit. Oh, so you are not really you are not the state or because the other person told me that she is the Department of Mental Health and uh, Department of Health and everything. No, this is, we are work for the federal government. This is not through the state. You are a federal government? We work for the federal government and get people enrolled in 
enrolled in health care if they qualify for a tax credit to go towards their premium. It's called the Affordable Health Care Act. Ma'am, I am. Uh, I don't know what uh, how they got my. I was just looking at email here, you know, and it says that uh, don't miss the deadline. January thirty first is your uh, okay. is your chance to avoid the penalty for two thousand and sixteen. Now, you get enrolled in health coverage if you don't have health coverage. Ma'am, I am. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm a, I'm a social, I'm a, I'm, I'm a disabled person. I'm 61 years old and I'm a disabled person. And I already have Medicare and I have uh, Cover California HMOs. And I want to go back with MIDI MIDI because that's what's okay. supposed to. Then you, you know what, you can just disregard that if you are already covered with insurance. Okay, well, how come if the federal government, if you work for the federal government, the federal government has no clue. The state is frauding people and committing crimes, heinous crimes against the American people, citizen and none, and uh, this nonprofit.org is on dot fraud calling people and claiming that they're working for the federal government which is, uh, it's, uh, you know, that's very unethical. And I, I wanted to understand, I wanted to ask you, if this call is recorded? Yes, this call is recorded. So if I go and file a complaint with the Department of Justice, then they will be able to go to your, uh, you know, recorded archive or whatever saved calls and... Uh, Check it out, right? I mean, use it as an exhibit. I, 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 this call is recorded. I don't know what access that you would have to it if you filed a complaint. But do you want to apply for health coverage? Or you said you already covered, so you can disregard the message that you received. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, but it, it, that's fine. I do appreciate your being kind. Can you put me with the survey, please? Because you asked me for the survey, and I said yes. All righty, you uh, can All you right. can you can you disconnect? Cause I'm. You, I can't. I can't disconnect from here. You have to. You. Uh, yeah, but you. Uh, okay, before you go, what's your name? And again, who you working for? Can you repeat what you said, please? I work for the market. I work for the marketplace, and my name is Tiffany. Tiffany, and you work for a federal government. You said right. So this is, it's a dot .gov, right? Ma marketplace dot. Huh? No, there's a website called healthcare.gov. The healthcare. I'll be happy to help you. If you had already said that you were already covered with Medicare and that you were disabled. Yes, ma'am. I, and I what I'm what I'm trying to say is why. The state, are you, are you in the state of California or you are some other, other state? No, we're not the state of California, sir. You need to contact the state of California if you have an issue with them. No, 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 no. I wanted to contact the federal government because the state of California is frauding and the federal government is complacent and participating on frauding the American people of shared cost and all of this. Okay. Huh? Oh, oh, you don't have an administrative officer in that office of yours oh, to file a complaint for fraud? I'm sorry, if you... If, if you are .gov, ma'am, hold on a second here. If you are a federal government and a .gov, and I'm telling you that you guys are someone before you, call me and you want to get the share cost. They want to get my address so they can harass me with bills that no, share cost. But how the federal government, ma'am, hold on a second here. That doesn't make any sense. No, no, sir, I'm going to release this call if you continue to yell at me because 
And I'm not yelling at you. I'm I'm trying to find out. I'm t I'm trying to find out what's what's this nature of the call, and how come the federal government has no clue about who is covered and who is not. I'm not getting upset, ma'am. I'm trying to find out because no, no, I am, I am an Egyptian, and we are loud like this. Now, I'm not, please don't get offended. I am not, uh, I'm not trying to offend you or yell at you. Okay, I am sitting in the front of my computer, and I'm speaking in a speaker. That's maybe why it's uh, because I, I'm calling you from my uh, Google Voice Hangout. You know. But I'm not trying to offend you. What I'm trying to find out, ma'am, uh, can you hear me out for just one minute, please? Sure. Okay. The federal government has all our information, not only me, but all, you know, American people. And they, are, they have every little movement. They have our bank accounts. They have where, who we talk to. We, everything now when it comes to health care and benefits that american people are supposed to get or any any person okay they are oblivious they don't have no clue they calling and they sending they keep sending me these emails because they wanted to find out if i'm covered or not so what how how is it is it the system is so uh, they have no clue or they just trying to get if, if somebody say oh yeah i wanted to get this and i wanted the marketplace because the previous one that transferred me to you the previous one she said oh you all share cost we need to get your address so we can send you the bill and that was the department of mental health <clears throat> county of orange here in california that's why i it triggers me. The federal government has no clue who is Medicare or who is Medi-Cal or who is, uh, the, you know, managed health plan or who cover California or HMOs. And it is not, I could do that. That's why my wrath is, I could do that. But there is millions of people or thousands of them that I, I encounter that they can't and they just go on the curb and get denied and get, you know, charged and their credit, you know, they become homeless and drug addicts and everything else. And this is not America that I thought I'm in. The federal government should be a, a lot more concerned about what they're doing, what the state is doing, or what they're doing to their own people, because this is not, it's, it's, it's very, very bad. That's why. But I'm not mad at you. You're doing your job, and I'm, I really respect you. And I, I'm not trying to offend you. Okay. okay. Um, and sir, I don't have answers to your questions as far as why the federal government doesn't know the information you were asking me. I, I don't know. But if you somebody wanted your address for you to pay a payment to the mental health department, uh, mental health services, you need to contact them. Okay. Well, that, I'm just telling you the nature of the call, how I got to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, so they just, just to transfer me to you <laughs> because, you know, I told them that I'm a, you know, I'm a social, I already have my, you know, anyway, I do appreciate your, uh, your time. Thank you. And can you, uh, uh, you want me to hang up or you can hang up? Uh, you go ahead. All right. Let me see here. Where is that call here? Let's see. Uh, no, it was not. Yeah, here you go. All righty, thanks, huh? And have a good day. Thank you. Uh, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, that's already. That's what has been happening. 
All right. Okay, that's it. So that's what has been happening. Everyone wants share cost. And it's not only the share cost, but the, the perm, uh, all the mental health clinics, behavior, <laughs> health, behavior health, I think that's what they call it, are drugging people. Elderly people, and they keep them hostage, and they get consent from the kids or the the inheritors, the inheritors. They take their elderly, retire elderly sick. And they put them in these places to drug them. To drug them. Heroin and all. <laughs> Skittles. And they give them no other choice. It's like a prison, it's like a jail with bars. <laughs> In fact, the jail was much better because they used to make Bruno <laughs> play cards, ping pong. I was very good at that. And we go to the roof. <laughs> Play basketball, walk, fight, stand, <laughs> clip our nails. In these places, you only go a few, uh, a few minutes out there and you have somebody talking your head off and telling you that, oh, well, we are concerned about your, you know, your medication, what kind of skittles you want, and you want a, <laughs> you want a needle? <laughs> and then they said that you can, you can go, 51, 50, 50, is it 51, 50, or 50, 51, 51, 50. That's what, they, that's the first time they did that to me, a uh, couple, couple months ago. And I thought that I'm going to the Department of Craziness to get some Skittles, that's all. I just want to get my Skittles so I can go to sleep. And then they kept me there and they said 5150. Because I told them that I just wanted to go, you know, it's not enough. You got to stay at least a week. Dr. Evil, not Dr. Evil, the drug busher. That's what has been happening. And the sheriff department fast go there and beat people and taking them from the streets and yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable, that's what we're doing to our youth Elderly, middle age, women, children, men, everyone. We committing the crimes and we giving them, we making them an as accounts. And it doesn't matter what it is, it's all evil. It's all evil. And as you see, federal government, if this is a federal, I'm sure that this is some just it's not that gov. Because I have the email open and they keep sending me, oh, deadline, a deadline, a deadline, a deadline. 
and the state is just going crazy. And now the governor, Jerry Brown, I sent him many emails. Now, before, when you want a hearing, they give you a number. <laughs> An 800 number to call for a hearing. And I must have like 20 hearings throughout uh, the time. And the hearing that doesn't, you know, administrative judge <laughs> comes and wearing the, you know, the abaya. <laughs> okay. Like Batman. He comes. And they ask, oh, well, yeah, this, uh, 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 oh, okay, Mr. Shaban, you know, uh, we will do that, uh, but the, uh, the county was uh, somebody. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I thought, oh, man. Bro, but them, Nivdiki, a constitution. <laughs> this is what has been happening. We getting people dizzy. We drug them first and then get them dizzy. And then calm them, fraud them out of their money that they don't have. <laughs> it's like they're giving somebody 250 years. <laughs> 256 years in prison, federal prison, or whatever. 250 years? You must be kidding. Now, when the do that in the finance aspect, the money. They said, you owe the state $10 million. <laughs> the penalty is $10 million. And you don't have no income. <laughs> <coughs> and if he give you $200, $295.50, general relief, you have to sign. A lien. <laughs> they take it from the funeral amount that the, <laughs> that the federal government, you know, the Social Security, medic, Social Security, yes, they give you 275 for funeral to bury you. And if no one from the family came and claim you, they bury you. Or they leave you somewhere. <laughs> or they use you as forensic signs. That's what has been happening. That's what has been happening. So I just wanted to record that because I am just tired of all of this. Why I am tired. <clears throat> okay, well, that's it. I just uh, wanted to document that. And, well, just, you heard it. I hope they're recording the recalls, because I am. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity.